My name is Veronica Valencia, and I love incorporating heritage and culture into a home. I have an amazing team. We have 15 years of experience together. <laughs> I'm Mexican and Native American, and growing up, I did not have designer role models that looked like me. As a wife, mother, and a designer, culture and traditions are so important. When I design, I want to tell every family story. This feels like us. I have never seen anything like this. I love this so much. Group hug. Design is so personal, and the fact that I can impact lives in such a big way, it's a dream job. Ken and Malaika, they are boisterous, they are so fun. They're the type of people that make you feel like you're immediately at home. We love to have fun, we love to engage and have, you know, parties, and this one, we know about the dancing. But like, our house reflects none of that. We're excited about pulling from our families and our culture. I would love for Veronica to help us. Malaika and Ken, they believe in their past and their legacy. They want to bring that into the future. They want their girls to be proud of them, proud of where they come from. They're the epicenter of their family. They're the hub. Right now, our house just does not have that, that cultural feel, you know, tapping into our rich history and ancestry that we're both so passionate about. We know that we've got a significant amount of ancestry from Africa, but where and what does that mean for us? What does that mean for our girls? Tell that story to us and tell that story in this space. Very well said. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> needs to marry her. <laughs> I'll be digging into family history and forgotten heirlooms. My team and I will then use this information to influence parts of the design and make it unique to them. Ken and Malaika, I am thrilled to take you guys out of the 80s. Oh, and into yeah. a new beautiful home that reflects you. <laughs> That's exactly where we want to go. OK, great. <laughs> we want people to walk into this house and have a good sense of who lives here. You can't even tell that a black family lives here. Yeah. You know, and I really feel some kind of way about that. Incorporating family and heritage is literally the fabric woven into my design DNA. With that said, I just want to learn a little bit more about your past, your history, a little bit more about family. My mom is actually from Atlanta, Georgia, and my dad's parents came from Tennessee. You know, it's so interesting. Like, I feel like as a black woman, it's when we talk about our history, I can talk about, like, what states they came from. Yeah. But, you know, beyond there, I don't know where my family members were or where our our lines come from. Yeah. And it's not a coincidence that my story is similar, coming from the mm -hmm. South as descendants of slaves uh, from Mississippi. So yeah. maybe, you know, being able to find more information would really be, be awesome, not only just for the sake of ourselves, but the inspiration that it pulls into yeah. our home. Designing this home is not just picking paint colors. It's not just filling these walls. They are craving for a home that is them. Now in the family room, what do you love about it? The high ceilings, I think, are I mean, some of win. my favorite. It, I also love what I call like pre-open design. With the different levels. Yes. With the different yeah. levels. And what don't you like? The lack of personality, the lack of <laughs> connection to this room. We hate the tiles. The chandeliers are just, they're giving us light, but they're not giving us life. Go. Oh, yeah. oh, it's it. Come on. Steps, steps. We want beauty, but we also want substance. Yeah. 100%, yeah. You know? Honestly, I'm going to guarantee it's going to be warm, inviting, inclusive. Mm. It's going to be beautiful, and it's going to honor your roots. Go you. Do you need a group hug? <laughs> I mean, like, oh, no. We use this table for many of things, especially family dinners. During the holidays, we do a lot of hosting here. What would you both say is the ultimate dream for this dining room? I think to be able to use this space as a place of conversation, I want to be able to look around and tell the stories of our family. We have some very celebrated individuals in our family that we really are proud of. I have an aunt who was the first African-American director general of the U.S. Foreign Service. She was an ambassador to Benin. Is there anything sentimental that you want to incorporate back into the home? After my grandma passed away, there was her china. I remember growing up and on my sick days, we would drink tea out of her little That's nice really tea sweet. cups. But it's just kind of been in a box for the last couple of years. Bring the china out. Yeah, I drink tea with my girls, you know, with grandma's really tea cups. Sweet. Yeah. yeah.